Alright, so welcome to this video. I will be doing a review of my Celine trapeze bag in navy blue. Oh, let me just close the scabs. Alright, so I'll be reviewing this bag. This is the Celine trapeze bag uh, in navy blue. Uh, I bought this um, at a secondhand luxury consignment store. So I will also be talking uh, a little bit um, at the end of the video, sharing my experiences buying a secondhand luxury item. So let's get into it. So I will consider this a medium sized bag. Uh, this is um, entirely in leather. Um, so the body is this muted navy blue leather. It's very, very soft. Um, it has sort of the signature Celine texture. It's not very uh, hard at all. It's, it's pretty soft. Um, and um, on the side, it has the sort of the two flaps and it is um, a slightly uh, darker shade of navy as you can see. And so it just adds some visual interest um, to the bag so it's not sort of a big blob of navy um, all over. Um, I think the color is super nice. I think it is really, really elegant and really classy. And you know, this kind of color never really goes out of style and it can really go well with any outfit, um, including this, this hoodie, I think. Um, but, but jokes aside, I do use this bag as my work bag. It has a, it just has a very classy uh, shape and look to it. And in terms of capacity, it has a pretty, it's pretty big. Um, and so it's also practical in a sense uh, for work. So we'll talk a little bit about the inside of the bag now. The inside of the bag, as you can see, um, is very simple. Um, there is no fabric lining to it. It is a entirely sort of in leather. Um, there are uh, two small pouches at the back of the bag, but they are very deep, so it's not very as practical. Um, you can't really put anything thicker than a foam um, into those slots. Um, there is no partition of any kind um, in this bag. So in order to keep organized, what I do is I have these little small pouches so I can organize my different needs. So I have a makeup pouch, I have a pouch for my keys and my wallet. And so that's how I stay organized with a, with a bag like this. Um, in terms of storage, there is one zippered pocket in the back of the bag. Um, but again, it's not very deep. It doesn't open very wide. You, you just really can't fit anything thicker than a foam um, inside this back pocket without sort of ruining the, the shape of the bag. So in terms of the shoulder straps, um, it is in leather, the same color. It's not adjustable, um, but I think it's actually a pretty good length on me. Um, it has a uh, thicker, wider piece um, at the top of the shoulder straps. Um, it's pretty helpful uh, so the straps doesn't dig into uh, my shoulders. So like I mentioned before, I bought this bag um, uh, secondhand from a luxury consignment store um, here in Toronto. And um, I just want to spend some time and share my two cents on buying secondhand. Um, if you're still sort of new to the process um, and um, sort of are looking for tips. Uh, so I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but I have bought a couple of items, both from physical stores and from online. So I'll share some uh, reflections from my own personal experience. The biggest thing I would say uh, that I would recommend um, is for your first two or three new items, uh, if you're not as familiar with the process or if you're not as familiar with what you're, you want to buy, um, I would definitely recommend doing so in a physical retail store uh, versus a online secondhand you know, consignment website. Uh, and you may say, well, uh, there's a lot of really great reputable websites out there and they, you're open to a much wider selection um, and the prices are a lot more competitive. And those are all great reasons uh, for the online consignment um, sort of community. Um, and I bought, definitely bought um, you know, luxury items secondhand from, from online stores. 
Um, but if you're new to the process, um, I think uh, it's really important to sort of go into the store to sort of be able to hold your hold the item that you want in your hand and sort of to to look at it before you buy. Because if we're talking about a um, luxury item, even if it's secondhand, it's still a pretty big expensive purchase. Um, and so I think there's three reasons uh, why you know it's it's important to sort of get a sense for uh, um, sort of in a physical store. So the first thing is dimension. So that's like how big the thing actually is. I find that even with detailed measurements for myself, it's very hard for me to visualize how much space uh, a bag takes just by looking at the measurements. And that's, you know, how much space it takes like on my lap and it's how much space it takes sort of like when I'm holding it. So all of that sort of sense of how big the space, uh, how big the item is, um, I think it's important uh, to get a feel of because it, it could be, you know, a, a very practical reason. Maybe the straps aren't the, the right length for you. Maybe the bag is too big or too small for your needs. Um, the second reason um, I think it's important to go into a physical store um, is to get a sense of its color and texture. So, um, you know, even if we're looking at leather bags, um, different leather treatments have a completely different feel, you know, looking at it or touching it. Even the same uh, brand, depending on the different series, have a different treatment for its leather. Um, and that goes for the coloring as well. Uh, even with really high quality photos, um, depending on how the what the lighting is when they took the photos, um, it's still not um, as a direct sort of representation of also like how you look at it and what kind of color do you find and what's how does the color look to you and I think that's pretty important when we're looking at a um, something as personal as a bag and is a relatively expensive purchase um, and the third point I would say is a very practical one for myself um, when we're talking about secondhand items there will definitely be uh, wear and tear um, unless you're buying an item that has its tags on it then that's a whole nother thing um, but if it's pre-loved there will definitely be signs of wear and so there are you know a lot of detailed ways to showcase that online um, but if the, you are new to buying secondhand I think it's important to go into the store and just be really transparent looking at the item look at the imperfections and see whether or not you're okay with it. Um, like for example, this bag, there is a scratch on the front. And so it looked a lot worse in the uh, photo online. Um, in person, when I looked at it under different lighting conditions, um, I realized that I, you know, I'm okay with it. I just don't think um, you should be surprised by imperfections uh, when you are spending you know, quite a lot of money on, on something that is considered a luxury item. So I want to wrap up this video, just also sharing two reasons why I buy uh, secondhand sort of luxury items. I think the first one is sort of for practical reasons. It is definitely a relatively cheaper way of getting a luxury item. Um, you know, I a Celine bag sort of full priced is a little bit outside of my budget, I would say. Um, so being able to look at some, you know, really nice quality items um, in the secondhand market, um, it just feels right to where I am at right now with my own finances and, and how much I want to spend on the bag. So the second reason for me is a sentimental one. So I bought a number of consignment slash vintage bags uh, when I'm traveling. So I would go to a place, um, go to their consignment stores and buy something and it becomes sort of a travel memento. Because um, then every time I use that bag, um, I remember my trip and where I got it and the place and sort of that uh, experience. So there goes my review of the Celine Trapeze bag in navy blue. 
and uh, some of my experiences buying secondhand uh, consignment store um, luxury items. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!